Hey guys, it's Sunday, it's April Fool's Day, and I didn't prepare anything for any of my channels for April Fool's Day, but seeing what everyone else is doing, I'm like, oh, I kinda wanna do something. And then I got an idea. In the past, there have been a couple times where, or at least one time, <laughs> where my live stream started itself, or that I thought it would, I ended it, but I didn't. So I thought it'd be funny to accidentally go live on Twitch, and I'll keep the webcam facing the wall, because normally I turn my webcam away when I'm not streaming, everyone knows that. So if I accidentally go live, you just see Cogsworth's face on my wall. <laughs> I also used to leave my mic running, but now I will mute my mic at the end of each stream, unless I forget, but I'm gonna act like I forgot it on and the mic's on. I thought it'd be really funny if it started out normal, like you just hear me typing, hear me just making random noises around my art room. That way it gives time for people to show up, but it also just seems more like an accidental thing. And then I thought it'd be funny if Christian and I got into a fight, but I don't know, <laughs> I don't think we could pull it off, to be honest. We've never had a fight, and so I don't know how we could even fake one. I just don't know if we can make it convincing, and I feel like we would start laughing or something. <laughs> but I was like, okay, well I gotta do something else on stream. So I'm kind of trying to think of ideas, like I can do random things or just say stupid stuff, but I'm like, well, I do talk to myself a bit during the day, but I don't want to make it obvious that it's an April Fool's thing. So I'm like, oh, I can always act like I'm talking to the cats, like, oh, pee pee, like, you know, it's like I'm saying things to them. That could be a way to slip things in there. Just like funny or embarrassing things. I don't know, just, I don't know. I don't know how to make it good. Start talking smack about other YouTubers or something. I don't know, I don't know if I can do that. But then again, like, what's the context for me saying that? Like, I'd have to be talking to Christian or something. I'm so nervous for this. I just, it's good to be so awkward. At least I won't be able to see my face. So I can just be like silently laughing to myself. Okay. <clears throat> Baby? Oh, do you want your tent set up? You can set it up later, boo boo. Just in a minute. Boo boo. This way. I'm gonna send you back to the pet store where we bought you. Boo boo! Send you back to the kitty mill. Come here. Come You're so whiny all the time. Hey, oh, she's a <gasps> She's scared. Because I'm stinky. Mommy's stinky. Yeah, I know. I need to shower. Or at least change my undies. They stinky. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That is not the song I was trying to play, but you know it works.
Uh, happy April Fool's Day. I hope you enjoyed my stream. <laughs> so my little prank was kind of a success, although a lot of people were on to me immediately. They're like, April Fool's. But I just tried to make it really convincing by not doing anything too out there. There were a couple things where I was like talking about getting Kiki from a pet store and like just like, oh, I'm gonna send you back to the pet store where we bought you. Well, we didn't actually get her from a pet store, but. That was kind of meant to be like, oh, she secretly did get them from a pet store, or like something like that. I don't know, it's kind of stupid. And then there's one time I'm talking to Kiki about how I need to shower because I'm all stinky. And I was like, well, I should at least change my panties. <laughs> I don't know, just like little mild things like that. And then I used this app to make a farting noise, but I wasn't right here. I like stood on the other side of the room so that hopefully it sounded a little more convincing. I don't know. I talked about the wine that was under my desk, I, like pulled it up because the bottles are still under there from my drunk drawing video and one of them still half full and I was gonna drink it, that kind of thing. Yeah, and I ate the chips, they're all loud, cracked my drink. I wasn't even gonna have this, but I, got, I did it specifically for the video. Just because this is loud stuff, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, it was funny. There are people who definitely bought it. I feel like it went on long enough and I was convincing enough that some people started to question, like maybe it is real, maybe she accidentally went live, so it was good. <laughs> Normally we don't even have chips in the house, but yesterday we went out for supper with a couple, just kind of like as a double date. And so we went out for supper and then we came home and played games with them, just board games and stuff. And I made a dip, like my Mexican layer dip, and so you need the Tostitos for those, so that's why I have them. But now I'm like, oh, there's leftovers and it's tempting me. No bales. And I shouldn't have had this either. <laughs> it's not even diet ginger ale. I'm about to go on the elliptical anyway, so oh well. First I wanna watch some more of the chat replay to see more of what was said in chat. Like some of it I was watching as it was happening. But a lot of times I wasn't looking at the screen because I was doing other things and whatnot. I'm going on the elliptical. <laughs> Watch some great anatomy. Oh, I'm pretty much caught up. I think I'm maybe two or three episodes behind and then I'm all caught up on Grey's Anatomy. Me! You're so cute. I might actually rearrange in here. <laughs> Because when I film stuff on the green screen, it's a little bit awkward because I have to sit away from the screen so I don't get green on me because it reflects off the wall onto your body. So I try to sit farther ahead, but it's awkward because I have the bike and the elliptical right here. So I'm thinking of maybe storing the bike in the spare bedroom instead. Right now that's where the cat tunnel is, but yeah, this can just get thrown over here. I should set this up for the babies. It's nice and sunny. Maybe I should do that before I work out. And then the bike can sit here, and then if anyone's staying over, we can just move the bike into this other room. And then I can take the elliptical and turn it sideways against that wall. That way the room is open, which is better for green screen stuff. Especially if I ever wanted to do something full body, I could do that. Oof, now it's getting all chilly in here. But babies like it. Now you're just up here, you're not even using your tent. Maybe I should have set it up after the workout. She just really likes to follow me everywhere. <laughs> Having some grapefruit and kiwi. Watching some joy sun. Yeah. So coming back to this room, I think I am gonna do the moving of stuff that I mentioned, but I also wanna go through everything I have in here. I've decluttered this room before and organized it, but I just, I'm gonna look at everything again. I feel like I'm not, whoa, that was a bullet cat. I feel like I'm not as attached to stuff as I used to be. Like, I feel like I'm getting better and better at decluttering, letting things go. So I'm gonna go through my clothes again and stuff down here. It's kind of hard because a lot of the stuff I haven't worn in a while is summer clothes. That's what like most of this side is. So I'm trying to get, trying to get rid of a few clothes and then just like go through all this too. She's a ripping around. And then the rest of this is just like the cat crates. This stuff needs to be hung up. <laughs> And then there's recycling in the cat litter boxes. So that's just gonna stay the same. Okay, update. Here's how the closet is looking now. I do have more stuff than what's just hanging here. We've actually been doing laundry today and so I have a lot of stuff I have yet to put away, but 
Not too much that gets hung up except maybe sweaters. In the winter, I tend to wear just plain undershirts underneath a sweater, so I don't come to this stuff as often. But I pulled forth some stuff that I should be wearing this time of year. Oh, gotta hurry hang that up. Some like three quarter sleeve things. So yeah, I got rid of some clothes, some purses, some shoes. Here's my donate pile. And then I have a bag of bags that I'm gonna put in the trunk of my car just for when I am out and about and shopping and need some bags. Cause usually if I go to Costco, I have to remember to put them in my car. Cause usually I just use this if we're getting groceries on foot or something. And then I have a few bags in there cause not everything usually fits in this, but it'd be nice to have the rest of them just in my car for when I need them. Sometimes I also just decide like, hey, I'm near this superstore. I'm gonna go there, but then I don't have my bags. So it'd just be nice to have them all the time. So now I'm gonna bag up this, put this stuff away, clean the floor. Oh, really? These, I don't really know what to do with at this point. I need to contact some animal shelters and see if they'll take them maybe. They're really nice, high quality cases, but you need a pretty small animal to fit in there. This is a soft-sided carrier for going on airplanes and such, and it would be too small for Kiki and Midna, I think, nowadays. <laughs> Initially when I bought the carrier, I ordered a large from Amazon and I thought it was way too big So then I ordered a small and even the small barely squeezes under the seat height wise, but it's just I don't know I don't think we're ever gonna really fly with the cats again, and this is just so tiny <laughs> I think we would need a bigger size so I feel like I want to donate them somewhere because I don't want to just throw them out. They're nice Another option is just hang on to them until we move because then maybe I could do a yard sale or something. Who knows? But we're not planning on moving anytime soon, so who knows when that's going to happen. Okay, come here. I'm trying to demonstrate the size. They were five months old when we traveled with them on that plane, so they've grown a lot more. And you're the smaller of the two, and you would probably have a hard time fitting in here. It'd be a little squish, huh? Look at that. Oof. Yeah, those are tiny. <laughs> you definitely would not fit. Now they have these, which are way bigger. Look at that. <laughs> but you can't bring those on an airplane cabin, but we just travel by car with you guys, don't we? Oh, hello. And she's in. Oh, that just looks sad and squishy. I mean, like it's doable for an airplane trip maybe, but it's just too sad. And like I said, Midna's too big. You all squish there, Kiki? <laughs> Oh yes, laying on top is much better. Okay, it is all cleaned up. Look how much more open it is. The floor looks a little patchy, I just swiffered it, but I think I need to go over it with our actual mop. This looked good a few minutes ago, but now I see it dry and I'm like, oh, that's actually not good. We have one of those Norwex mops and it's really nice and I like to use that most of the time, but I thought why not use the Swiffer because there's just like dust from the cat litter, but I don't think it did a good enough job. But anyway, See, this is much more out of the way, like this. But yeah, this is how it's looking. Yay, clean and less stuff. The next room I'm gonna tackle is the storage room downstairs. Not today, but in the future, hopefully soon. Let me show it to you. I'm embarrassed to show you, but I'm gonna show you. Wait, I should take these flip flops off. I like wearing them in this room when there's like a litter on the floor and I need to sweep it up. I didn't want to step on it. I put these on. So usually they just sit right here. Okay, storage room. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this. I'm embarrassed to show it in this state, but it's more fun if you see it before, right? Some of this is stuff from my art room, like this box all the way up to here. Stuff I took out of my art room there, so they're empty. A lot of stuff up here is also empty because they're computer boxes and stuff like that and then some of it's just decorations for our different holidays who knows man there's a lot there's just a lot that needs to be sorted and i'm sure there's a lot of stuff in here we could get rid of so that will be a big task for another day oh, oh this is a dangerous game kiki anyway that's it for this vlog thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video or whatever it is that i say now yeah I feel really creeped out going in here. I might actually, I think if there's a loop or something, I'm just gonna come right back out, I think, and just walk along the street. This is just really creepy. My pop sock is really nice for holding on to. It's just like, ooh.
Okay, does this loop around? 